friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I currently upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday with sometimes bonus uploads in between. I also have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel that I always link down below. I also have a reselling channel. So one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, shoes, handbags, accessories on Poshmark, eBay, and Amazon. So if you're interested in like a side hustle, I actually did a video on that channel called Four Side Hustles for 2020. So I'll link that video down below, that channel down below if you're interested in that or you've heard of it, link down below. But today we are doing a will I buy it video. So basically we just talk about new makeup that's coming out and I decide whether or not I'm buying it. And I always say this, but I wanna know if you guys are picking up any of this stuff or if you're picking up anything, let me know in the comments down below drugstore, high-end, mid-range. I've done this a lot. I think the last one I just did was about Jeffree Star's Mystery Boxes and Jaclyn Hill's Morphe Volume 2 palette. By the way, I completely miss the Mystery Boxes. Hello, having 50 million jobs. If you're new around here, I have a corporate job, so I work nine to five. I just completely missed it. Didn't have a reminder in my phone. I was at work. I had a meeting at like nine. I think they launched at like 10 a.m. Pacific time. Completely missed it. I honestly didn't even remember until I looked at Twitter at like 5 p.m. And I was like, well, I did check at five. That's crazy. Like they went on sale at 10 a.m. my time. And by 5 p.m. they were completely sold out. So I was like, it just wasn't meant to be. I wasn't even too upset about it. I mean, I wanted to get them, but they're kind of pricey. And I know you guys would have liked to see videos, but I just completely missed it. So I will put pictures of everything I'm talking about on the screen, and I will link them down below. First up, we talked about this in a Will I Buy It weeks ago. This, I believe this launched overseas a long time ago. So this is the MAC Cosmetics cherry blossom collection you guys i told you i think i've told you this mac cosmetics was the first makeup line where i fell in love with makeup i used to go there and get my makeup done religiously i loved it that was before i even knew how to like put on foundation like i went to mac cosmetics and i just loved i feel like mac is one of those brands that's always been inclusive like they always had my shades or they had shades that were deeper than my skin tone i love mac and i feel like because of you know, the influx of indie brands. I feel like Mac has kind of fallen to the wayside, but I still love them. So I'm actually gonna pick up a couple things from this brand, I am mean, this brand, the brand and the launch. So the packaging is beautiful. I'm a huge fan of Mac lipsticks. So there, there's two lipsticks. Those are gonna be $20. There's lip glasses. I love their lip glasses. Think of like a lip gloss that's like a thick, if you like a thick, shiny lip gloss you'll like lip gloss if you don't stay away from it um highlighter and lightscape for 37 dollars. i'm so over highlighters i have too many highlighters i bought way too many when fenty launched theirs and i still haven't even used all those um so i don't know when this is coming out but it should be launching soon because don't cherry blossoms i grew up in the dc area i should know when cherry blossom season is because if you live in that area there's a along the water God, that's what happens when you move to the West Coast and you've lived here for 10 years. I can't remember. But cherry blossom season is coming up in D.C. Pretty sure. Don't quote me. Let me know in the comments down below. So I would think that maybe the collection would coincide with cherry blossom season. Maybe. We'll see. Next up, Huda Beauty. She is releasing Neon Nudes. So, oh, there was neon nudes, but now these are the pastels. Perfect timing for spring. These are beautiful. I still haven't even picked up the neon nudes. I actually have, who remembers, and around holiday season, I bought the Sephora Favorites. It was the Sephora Favorites perfume set, and it came with the certificate that if you bought the set, which was like, I think it was like eight tester perfumes, you get a certificate to buy a full size of that. I've lost it, and I can't find it. But when I find that, it's in my house somewhere. I'm going to Sephora because I need a lot of stuff. Like, I need it, like, this weekend probably. I have a kind of a big date with my boyfriend. I'm meeting his dad for the first time. So I'm meeting his dad, and I call her his stepmom. They're not married, but they've been together forever. Anyways, it's the first time I'm meeting his dad, so I kind of want to, like, have a nice... Anybody else buy, like, new makeup just because you have something coming up? I have so much makeup. Like, I have enough makeup that probably 10 women can wear, but because I have something coming up, I'm like, 
I need a new bronzer. I need a new foundation. It's just an excuse for me to shop. So I will probably pick up the neon ones because I haven't even picked those up yet. And I remember wanting to try them. If you're new around here, I love color. Hence the purple and pink eyeshadow. I love greens, blues, purples, pinks on the eye. I am not a neutrals girl. So I think this is actually beautiful. So these will be available March 1st at Huda Beauty's website and Sephora. I might pick those up, but I'm definitely picking up the neon ones. Have you guys seen these new Milani highlighters? I just said I'm over highlighters, but these look beautiful. So they're called the Ludicrous Lights Collection. So I don't think it's just highlighters actually. It says each color includes a duochrome highlighter, an eye topper, and lip gloss. What? Oh, oh, I see. So there are highlighters, and then there's lip glosses, and then there's eye toppers. Those are so pretty. Oh, I don't need any more highlighters. Maybe we'll try the eye topper. I'm a big fan of eye toppers because a lot of eyeshadow palettes mostly cater to the masses like you that probably like neutral. And I always want like glitter, sparkle, like <laughs> so much crap on my eyes. So a lot of times when I can't I get it from a palette, I'll just pack an eye topper on there. So I love to see drugstore brands branching out and making new products. Like 10 years ago, drugstore brands, I feel like they were just highlighter. No, not even highlighters, eyeshadows, blushes, foundations, you know, the staples. But I love to see like eye toppers and more highlighters, although I don't need any more and just branch it. I went into my Sephora today, you guys, it looked, I mean, sorry, I went into my CVS and it looked like a Sephora, literally. The whole beauty section, they just redid it. Let me know if they've done that in your area because I want to shop the CVS beauty sale that we talked about in my quickie with Nikki. I got $10 extra bucks because I spend a lot of money. That's the main place I buy drugstore makeup. CVS number one, Ulta number two. Let me know in the comments down below where you buy like your drugstore makeup. I feel like a lot of you are gonna say Target. I feel like CVS is my Target. I don't like Target. You haven't seen that video, link down below. Honestly, I probably won't link it. <laughs> I, if you're new around here, I say I'm gonna link like 20 videos. You might be lucky if I link two. It's just the reality of having a full-time job and editing on the go. I'm sorry, I'll try, I'll try. Um, we've talked about this, I think. So this is the Dior Beauty Backstage line. So it looks like there, it's an eyeshadow palette for $49. I feel like, honestly, I feel like that's affordable for, for Dior to get, let me see, you get three, six, nine shadows for $49. I feel like that is affordable for Dior. I won't be picking this up. None of these colors speak to me. I just told you guys I like color. I, I am a realist, right? I work in an office environment. I cannot wear pink, greens, and blues to work. So I have like four neutral palettes that I rotate between for work. But like once, because I have those, I don't need any more. Like the things that speak to me are not palettes like this. I see the beauty in it. I think it's pretty, I just don't need it, especially not for $50. For six shadows, nay nay. Very pretty though, I just don't need it. I do like Dior's foundation. I did a video, it's super old. I think it's like three years old. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. I was a fan of their foundation. It was $50, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much. Um, What else is coming out? Victoria Beckham Beauty. So Victoria Beckham start, well, I think first, didn't she launch a collaboration with Lancome or was it Estee Lauder? Maybe it was Estee Lauder, but so does she have her own line now? So it looks like she's going to have a new eyeshadow palette come out. It's cruelty free. Um, it's called the Smoky Eye Brick and Silk. I'm not picking that up. <laughs> it says it has satin shine finish that includes four shimmery bronzy gold shades. I just feel like that's gonna be expensive. And like I just said with the Dior palette, I don't need that. I don't really have anything else to say about that. Have any of you tried the Victoria Beckham beauty? Let me know, does she? I think she has her own beauty line now, that's interesting. Makeup Revolution, I actually like, like a lot of their stuff. I used to be on their PR list, maybe I said something a little 
not so great about the brand because I don't get PR from them anymore. But um, this is the Glass Collection. Oh boy, lots of highlighters. Is anybody else over highlighters? I feel like as a normal woman, what do you need? Maybe like two highlighters, maybe like that you actually use. And I feel like a lot of us don't really use, when I go to work, I'm not putting highlighter on. It's a cold day in hell when I do that. I'm wearing a highlighter when I'm going on a date, when I'm going to the club, which I don't do, a party, you know what I'm saying? Like a nighttime thing. I'm not wearing highlighter every day. And I just feel like we're inundated with all these highlighters that, I don't know, are any of you, let me know, do you wear highlighters every day? I don't, I don't need any more. I literally have like 12 and that's enough and I'm not even using them and they're just sitting and I feel like they're just going bad. But they're coming out with three shades of highlighters for 10 bucks, um, a glass skin primer with a dewy finish for 12 bucks, an illuminating primer serum for 10 bucks. I love how affordable they are. I actually really do like their eyeshadows. Um, they're coming out with a dewy fixing spray for 11 bucks. So this is coming to Ulta soon. My Ulta has a huge makeup revolution section, which I thought was nice. Smashbox. I feel like I don't talk a lot about Smashbox on my channel, and I really like the brand. I like their shade range. They've always, well, I feel like they've had a really good range of foundation shades, bronzing shades. So they are coming out with a Halo Fresh Perfecting Powder Foundation. I actually like powder foundations as someone who's more oily. Um, I don't use them often enough. Oh, it's light coverage. If you're new around here, I don't like light coverage. Um, long wearing powder with built-in powderizing powderizer. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I probably won't be picking that up because it's hydrating, it's light coverage. I don't like light coverage. And it's in 10 shades. What? After I just praised how great they are. Although the 10 shades do range in shades if that makes sense. So I'll put it on the screen, but they have fair, fair light, 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 neutral, like medium, medium, medium tan, tan, dark, neutral, and dark. So maybe they're just testing this out, but I won't pick that up. How much is it? Just cause it's lightweight, light coverage, $55, holy crap. When is this launching? It's not out yet, but it'll be launching in Sephora. That better be some dang good foundation for $55. Okay, so that's all the new launches. Let me know your thoughts on that down below. Let me know in the comments down below what you will be picking up. You can check out my most recent video right here.